Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about psoriasis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Psoriasis is a T-cell immune mediated inflammatory disease. It has a genetic predisposition and it has a bimodal peak incidence at 27 and 55 years of age. Now let us see about the symptoms of psoriasis. It is usually asymptomatic. Itching can be there. Psoriasis exhibits cobinous phenomenon that is psoriatic lesions are induced at sites of injury or irritation to normal skin. The triggers for psoriatic lesions include trauma, stress and medications like lithium, beta blockers, prednisone taper, antimalarials, AC inhibitors and interferons. Nail pitting can be seen in psoriasis. Severe form of psoriasis is seen in HIV infection. This picture shows a patient with psoriasis. This is a psoriatic plague. Now let us see about the subtypes of psoriasis. Localized plague type. It is the most common type of psoriasis. It has sharply demarcated erythematous plagues with silvery white scales. These are seen symmetrically distributed on elbows, knees, scalp, palms and soles. Gluteal pinking and umbilical skin involvement are pathognomic of localized plague type of psoriasis. Guttate psoriasis. Guttate means drop like. It is seen in young adults following streptococcal throat infection. In this, numerous small discrete plagues are seen that are widely distributed. Generalized postular or erythrodermic psoriasis is a rare life threatening variant of psoriasis. Inverse variant of psoriasis, it involves flexural surfaces like axillae and groin. Now let us see about the diagnosis of psoriasis. Psoriasis is a clinical diagnosis, that is, it is diagnosed based on clinical findings. Biopsy is rarely done for psoriasis. For gut psoriasis, ASO titer or throat culture for group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infection can be done. Now let us see about the treatment of psoriasis. For limited plague disease, topical therapies such as potent topical steroids, steroid sparing vitamin D analogs like calcipotrain, retinoids, coal tar, and anthrenin can be used. For generalized disease, UVB light oral retinoids and PUVA, that is, sorenin plus UVA light can be used. For refractory disease or psoriatic arthritis, methotrexate, cyclosporin, Sulfur salazine and biologics like alafacept, efalizumab, and etanacept can be used. For guttate psoriasis, penicillin or erythromycin should be used to treat streptococcal infection along with topical therapies or UVB light. Now, let us see about the complications of psoriasis. Psoriatic arthritis occurs in less than 10% of patients with psoriasis. It affects the distal interphalangeal joints of the hands. Sacroiliitis can also be seen in psoriatic arthritis. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.